Welcome back. You're still watching the morning show on this thankful Thursday. Thank you so much for choosing to stay with us. Now, there's a big question that we've been asking each other here in studio and we're asking our guests if, you know, you're interested in a career in aviation and air traffic control, maybe like Kaya now. Well, here's an organization that can make those dreams attainable. They can make it a reality. ATNS, the Air Traffic and Navigation Services, is an organization that is truly just focused on building infrastructure that builds and sustains livelihoods. ATNS is is responsible for air traffic control in approximately 60% of 6% rather of the world's airspace. And Nam Sanji were joined by its chief executive officer Onozi Pumdawe, as well as principal air traffic service officer Baratang Lekomaye. Thank you so much for your time. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I'm so happy to be speaking to ladies, and I'm going to be speaking about aviation. But we'll get into all of that. So let's start with you. Air traffic and navigation services (ATNS). Talk to us about some of the work that you do and the offering that you, you, you give to South Africa and the rest of the world. Thank you so much. Thank you for allowing us to be here. Thank and greetings sir. to the viewers as well as to the ATNS community. Um, ATNS, as you said, is an air traffic navigation services. We offer services in terms of air traffic navigation mm -hmm. as well as infrastructure, technological infrastructure uh, that, um, that looks into communication, navigation and surveillance. Our entity is, um, is a, it's one of those entities that is governed by an act. It's an ATNS Company Act of uh, 1993, Act mm -hmm. number 45. And we are under the jurisdiction of the transport uh, uh, department. In other words, our shareholder is the transport ministry and also our mandate is to provide safe, reliable and efficient airspace uh, services. Right. Yes. And, and if, you know, someone is at home and they're watching and they're like, this is very interesting. What would you then say an air traffic controller actually does? What, what do they do? Because in a mass school, man, traffic, school, man, robots, school, man, yeah. school, man, I want to, I'm a points man. Yeah. Air traffic control, what is that? What do they do as air traffic controllers? So air traffic controllers looks at activities uh, from the point of, uh, in fact, there's an organization. There are different types of services that we offer. Right. And they start from pre-planning of the movement of an aircraft or a flight. So we look at private and also, um, you know, airline industries, mm. uh, scheduled and non-scheduled uh, um, activities in, in the airspace. So it starts from pre-planning the flight and then uh, you, where you see us boarding onto an aircraft, we are not responsible for that. Right. But when it starts moving back and starting to take off, we take over. Right. We allow you to then say, yes, now you can move on the apron. So the movement on the apron is governed and monitored by us, and there, as well as taking off. Mm -hmm. It's also us doing that, uh, that activity. On the space, air space, as you move in the air space, we are looking uh, after that. So the ATCs look after those, or they take care of those activities. Sure. They are very, very critical activities. Activities Absolutely. that are very, they require discipline, they require order, they require understanding and better coordination um, of activities. But by the way, uh, we, we, we design the procedures in, on, in, in the airspace. In other words, we know how the airspace movement is supposed to be. By the way, as well, we are responsible for the 6% of the airspace, of the world airspace yeah. as yeah. ATNS. Yeah. So in other words, it's not only within South Africa, it goes beyond it's the that. World. It's the world. So, Baratang, yes. we should actually be saying thank you to you then for making sure that our airspace is, is, is safe, right? And today is such an important day because it, it, it's International Day of, 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 of the Traffic Controller, right? How important is it for, for, for us to be able to, to have a day like this and be able to acknowledge the work that you do? Um, yes, we may not be the face of aviation, but yeah. we are definitely the backbone of this industry. Mm -hmm. I mean, when I tell people that I am in the aviation industry, they assume that I am in the piloting profession. Yeah. So the recognition of this particular profession um, and the dedication of the 20th of October towards uh, the International Day of the Air Traffic Controller yeah. is one that is quite gratifying because um, air traffic controllers have a very stressful job, one of the most stressful jobs in the world. Mm. And to dedicate a day 
um, towards them and to also, you know, appreciate the work that they do yeah. is one that they are fully deserving of um, for their contribution to That's this beautiful. industry. And I hope you're going to get, you know, VIP treatment just for today, for all the stress that you go through. I mean, you are saying it's one of the most stressful industries to be in. This is not, I mean, when we speak of South Africa, we speak of Ubuntu. That, yes. that is who we are. We speak of, of being able to, to give back, right? Yes. And we've heard that ATNS have launched a project that will be giving back and in so doing, making a worthy contribution. Talk to us about that project and why it is so important. Our responsibility as an organization is on sustainability in three areas, yes. social, economic, and environment. On the social aspect, we've got a project um, that looks at uh, corporate social investment, and that's a project that you're referring to, where we'll be giving back to a community. In fact, our CSI is uh, the strategy that we have, and we look at the nine provinces, and 65% uh, of our activities are in the rural areas. In other words, mm -hmm. this activity or this project that we'll be um, doing as part of our um, October Transport Month yeah. is ensuring that we um, give uh, to the communities, but also making sure that we build up the in communities in terms of socio-economical development. In other words as well, it says that we ensure that our young, the youth, in terms of their education, they are given the skills and the competences that are required so that they grow and they get to then choose the areas of focus. In, when you look at the project that we will be uh, launching on the 27th of October, we will be delivering fully furnished life and uh, 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 physical science laboratory sure. into a school in Amanskral, in one of those rural areas yeah. in Amanskral. Yeah. So we are really looking forward to that. As I said, we are present in nine provinces and 65% of our activities is definitely in the rural areas. And we're focusing mainly on education That's and beautiful. empowering the youth and making them to be aware that there is other or there are other opportunities for their careers yeah. other than teaching, yes. other than engineering, um, you know, civil engineering, We've got aeronautical engineers, um, we've got uh, ATCs, there's quite that. a lot that we offer. And, and Bernadine, just tell us about some of the benefits. If you know, if I, if I then, uh, there, there is a, a bursary project that's, that's there as well. What are some of the, of the benefits and, and some of the things that you have access to if you are part of that program? Yes, so I joined the company through the bursary program straight from um, matriculating. Wow. Um, and the bursary program offers tuition at the Aviation Training Academy. It also covers accommodation, food and transport. And if you would like to know more information about the next intake and also about how to apply for this bursary program, yeah. you may go to our website, which is atns.com. But in terms of what the uh, bursary program has exposed me to, mm. it's exposed me to a lot of information and knowledge um, pertaining to other lines of work such yeah. as you know avionics and meteorology and things such as search and oh. rescue and also the collaboration with other sub industries within aviation yeah. um, has been absolutely amazing and the organization itself offers a lot of development which I have had the privilege um, and been very fortunate to grab with both hands once or twice so it's been an amazing journey for me being a oh. part of this family. And it's definitely one that I would recommend to the Thanks. youth of South Africa. Ah, oh, listen, I am just totally inspired. Thank you so much to the both of you for joining us this morning and sharing all of this uh, information with us. And I do hope that other young women, particularly young black women, are also inspired. And they'll go out to the website and just find out more information. So thank you, uh, Nozi Pemdawe, as well as Baratang Likomanye for joining us this morning right here on The Morning Show. Let's take a quick ad break. Do stay with us. We'll be right back.